And now they head to the sports minister's camp and Honorable Mr. Far Yusif is saying that they should be accountable. When you come after the successes and there is anything, the first point of call should be this office. We are not going to tolerate you using the states for your personal ben benefits. All right, welcome, welcome to another exciting episode of Sports Guys. And big shout outs going out to all the sports guys out there. You know, you guys, you miss us. We are back once again on your screens. My brother Penty is here, and we're going to be discussing a very dicey issue in regards to Ghana's football. And when we are talking of Ghana's football, I'm talking of, of the amputee national team, the Ghana's amputee national team, the black challenge of Ghana. Penty, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Yeah. It's a very, very, like I'll say, delicate issue. Very, right? very delicate issue, right? Very sensitive. Okay. Very, very sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> so if you are talking, you should know <laughs> the, the kind of words and the, the kind of words you should choose and all that. Yeah. 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 All right. So this is the issue. The Black Challenge of Ghana went to the Amputee African Cup of Nations, won the Amputee African Cup of Nations, and came back home and, uh, were presented some prizes from notable people, especially from John Dramani Mahama, the former president of Ghana. He gave them ten thousand dollars, and he was even saying it's a little token for them, right? And now they head to the sports minister's camp, and Honourable Mr. Far Yusuf is saying that they should be accountable and should not be taken when some you come prizes from people. But first, let's go and take a listen to what uh, Mustafa Yusuf said. When you come after the successes and there is anything, the first point of call should be this office. We are not going to tolerate you using the states for your personal ben benefits. Once you come, all of us will then be taking at uh, making sure that whatever benefit that is supposed to accrue to you just like we did in the previous time when you came the two thousand dollars you all received never came into my pockets it was for you because you represented us and you performed and similar opportunity will be given to you but if you realize that this time when you are you landed unlike last year Yeah, but this is important. Okay. I just want the media to know. <laughs> Unlike last year when you came and you came here directly, this year you started going from play one place to another place to another place without even recourse to the government who sponsored you. And that cannot be tolerated. I have to put it to you, not only you, any national team. If it's your personal club, a private club, that is fine. That is your club. As national team, once you come, you should know that you are representing the government, the, the states. So that is what I just want to t tell you. So I've asked the president of the Na Ghana National uh, 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 Para Team. We have seen that you have received a lot of donations, which is good for us. You should account for it because it's for the state, it's not for you. And he has indicated that he will definitely come and account for it. And government will then see what we'll do to complement whatever you have received already so that is the information i just want to and we'll communicate after you have presented all the statements or what you have received to us to my office that was the voice of uh the sports minister of ghana honorable mustafa yusif but first, let me find out from you, uh, Penty. Do you think the donations, the Black Challenge received from other donors, do you think it was right to receive those kind of donations? Obviously, the donations in any other form or any form 
was right mm. and the manner in which they receive it that was what is being questioned yeah you know and initially when i heard that the f- the former president gave them ten thousand dollars i was really really excited and i was asking myself if the former president is giving them ten thousand dollars what is the president, president also going to give the them ministers of youth and sports doing mm. i did not see what the national amputee team has done winning a second consecutive afghan trophy mm. so it, it came to me as a surprise that the first place they went to was the former minister's office uh, sorry former president's office and uh, the flag bearer of the ndc uh, john ramani mahama mm. but the whole issue here is i'm talking about the leadership of the amputee team they should yeah. have uh, sought to the minister's first office first yeah. they should have gone to uh, mustafa you see when the sports ministry presented the trophy to them talked to them about the achievement before going to other places that's where the problem is and as the minister said he thinks that the first point of call should have been Be the ministry the but plenty representing the state but plenty this is the this is the same ministry where the when the black challenges were moving to the afghan cup of nation they were complaining bitterly but you know what the minister said yeah the minister said that they give them three thousand dollars each mm. before going for the tournament so before going for the tournament the ministry funded their tnt as in per dms and everything the ministry founded it mm. so coming back if someone helps you to go out to go and perform to represent the nation when you are back you have to come and report to them first and that is what they didn't do actually i do not agree with the manner in which the minister spoke, spoke to, to them uh, yeah of course he didn't do well with that i really really didn't agree with the manner in which the minister went about telling the whole world actually this is the, the because whole world. this is actually whole your world. heroes like yeah. they've won consecutive the whole whole titles they went to other places clearly we can see how jealous you are you know that it is the opposition party that is giving them that money. the money yes we can see it. but you know certain things have to be said off camera yeah to those people handling the team i don't see anything wrong with the team going to take their money but the people handling the team have to know the right channels and who to attend to when the point of call comes after winning such a major tournament you can the blasters of ghana cannot win a major tournament and come back and go to if mahama is the president you can't come back and go to Baumier's office and go and take money. You know, but actually, Mahama even said that, look, he intended to intended to give the money to them, even proud to the uh, Afghan tournament. You know, and it didn't happen. The meeting some, didn't come up. They get some do you get me? Did, uh, yes. Get some did, yes. Uh, do, do you think it's 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 a wrong gesture from uh, no, John he did it perfectly well. No, he did So, I'm, I'm really so really why, why, why is the sports ministry complaining because of this? The sports ministry's position is clear if as a ministry oh sorry as a representative of this nation mm. you go and represent the nation and win a trophy and you come back you are under the youth and sports ministry mm. negative so you have to what come back and what make an account of what what you went to do at the tournament to them and the first but me, my problem here is he's complaining about what the sponsorship they got that shouldn't be the case yeah because it's like you're, ch- you're chasing out the the, 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 the yeah, donors you're the chasing donors. out because you cannot sponsorship. provide you cannot provide 100 percent for them yeah the sports ministry are not they are not doing much for these guys so they need more but i think they have to also look at where they go first that yeah. is my, me, my uh, actually actually that that is their yeah. mistake but that is mistake. they, they were in a manner work. where which the minister was speaking okay, to it was wrong these players it was yeah. wrong for me, I think the, the I minister didn't... needs to uh, look at that. He didn't do well with that. He that he was wrong. I think the the former president did really well, and we need to applaud the former president for giving them such an amount. It's a big amount of money to give to this mm. uh, young, uh, fiscally challenged players, players. who are going to make the nation yeah. proud. I think that moving forward, they need to be able to solicit for more funds and mm. not just from the former president but other corporate bodies need to come on board i need to use this opportunity to call on all corporate bodies and all uh, companies that are watching this young yeah. 
inspiring yeah. team that will tell the stories for a lot of people, a lot of people. Out there. yeah it's a story that will be told one day that our even our able national team players which is the black stars and the nice it was the last time they won, they won the won trophy. trophy very long time it was a very long time <laughs> they won an afghan trophy for us so if these people are trying to inspire the next generation of people with issues like this mm. and they are trying to tell the whole world that they are capable mm. of winning or capable of doing something for them so yeah. we need to applaud them applaud them of course necessary support. all right so the sports guys out there please you can also share your views on this topic right if the amputee the black challenge did something wrong by not going to the sports ministry first before receiving that ten thousand dollars from john dramani mom or even uh other donors out there well this is how we wrap up the show for today my name is Eklu Michael, and I did this with Penty Gijon Newton. Penty, nice always having you on the show. Yeah. Till we meet again next week or on the say or another time. And uh, this was the Sports Guys right here on Sports Guys. For now, it's a bye bye.